What up, YouTube? It's your boy Darius. Um, what I'm about to do is we're about to react to TLC, the saga of crazy, sexy, and cool. Um, I would recommend this video by Cora Gray. Um, thank you for recommending this video for me, Cora. I have not annoyed you or anything. You know, I'm sorry that it takes me a week to react to this, but um, I've just been on vacation lately. You know, I went to Chicago. You know, and I had a good time, and I will discuss that um, uh, like like some other time um, on my opinion channel. So. So, Cora, please subscribe to that channel. I'll, I'll post a link on my description. But with that being said, um, let's get to it. TLC was the realest girl group of the 90s. They were. During a time where women in R&B dressed in feminine clothing and talked about being brokenhearted, TLC yep. diverted from the norm. They came onto the scene dressed in baggy, oversized clothing, wore condoms as fashion statements, and talked about real-world issues like AIDS and drug violence. That's true. It's that shock factor and unique approach to activism that would make members t Boss, Left Eye, and Chili a part of the biggest American-selling girl group still is ever. Despite all the incredible success that they had, the story of TLC is not as amazing as it seems. Yeah, all true. throughout the 90s, the girls were entrenched in controversies over their personal and professional lives. Bankruptcy, arson, and bad contracts yeah. would all threaten to erase the legacy of TLC before it ever really started. In this video... And, and that's true, unfortunately. Like, um, TLC is one of the perfect example of them going like multiple platinum on Sexy Crazy Cool... And they still end up going, uh, like getting bankrupt. Ain't that crazy? But it happens, you know. Like the, like I said, like I said in the Instinct video, um, uh, the music business is a fucked up business, you know. And that's that. That's just the way it is, you know. Like the TLC were not the first, and they unfortunately would not be the last. So, and it's still going on to this day, you know. But hopefully, hopefully, something change have changed since then, but. We'll be discussing the formation of TLC, as well as the controversies that shot their first two albums to the top of the world. Hot, Let's yo. get into it. In order to understand the importance and legacy of TLC, you first have to understand the hardships they each dealt with in their childhoods. All three of the members came from broken homes and dysfunctional families. Damn. At the age of seven, T-Boss was diagnosed with a life-threatening disease and told she wouldn't live past the age of 30. Chili's family sales. dealt with financial issues due to her father abandoning her before birth. And lastly, Left Eye had an extremely abusive okay. father who would strangely encourage her to drink. To wow. put it simply, these weren't child stars. They were real kids with real problems. That's but true. fate would somehow lead them all to Atlanta, a place where the future Ooh, of R&B awaited for them. Initially, the group was called Second Nature and only composed of T-Boz, Left Eye, and a third singer named Crystal. They auditioned and signed a management deal with singer-turned-manager Perry Reed. For those of you who don't know, Pebbles. Perry, professionally known as Pebbles, was a semi-successful singer who was married to label record executive L.A. LA Reed. Reed. Perry brought the girl... I, I actually like some of the Pebbles uh, music. Um, Do you want to ride my Mercedes? Goodbye! Dun, 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 dun. Or, or is she more famous known as Girlfriend? Dun, 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 dun. Girlfriend is a typical Eddie song, and that's why I love it. L.A. Reed, and he signed them to L.A. Reed, L.A. Reed is responsible uh, for not only for not only for TLC, for people for like um, Tony Braxton and yeah, to, yeah, for Tony Braxton and really the Braxton dumb sisters. Uh, um, and they they're responsible for so many things. Like they like they were like um, they were like they hit the. Like the love face was a hit of like late eighties and early nineties um a Atlanta the music scene, you know what I'm saying? Like I think even Out Outkast were um signed with the love face. That's how big they were. Love face were that how influential um love face were to black music um during that time period. He didn't feel that Crystal meshed well with the other girls. They eventually kicked her out of the group and brought in Chili, who was a backup dancer for the R&B duo Damien Dame. The final three met and TLC was officially born. TLC's debut album, Ooh on the TLC Tip, was released on February 25th of 1992. Right from the get-go, nice. you could tell that each of the members brought something so special to the songs. Chili with her smooth R&B vocals, T-Boss with her deep husky voice, and Left Eye with her intelligent rap verses. Yep. Lyrically, the album discusses a variety of world issues, like rape culture, real friends, and female empowerment. Many teens saw the group as role models. Because of the condom 
towards they wore to promote safe sex at the time of yep. the AIDS pandemic. It wasn't something that you saw too often in mainstream music. In that order too. to promote the album, the group went on their first tour with MC Hammer, Jodeci, and Boyz II Men. While See, on the like, tour- that first album, it, they had so much hype to it. Like, uh, like of course, I ain't too proud to bag, y'all. You wouldn't want to find any money. I ain't too proud to bag. To like, the song not like, Baby, 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 dun, 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 dun. they're gonna give me up. You got to, or even a, what about your friend? What about your friend? When they wanna let you down, let you down, now be it all be around. What, what about your friend? Man, like, man, like, after that, I'm gonna play some TLC, y'all. They found out how much the other groups were making and soon became skeptical of the contract they had signed with Perry Reed. After continually yeah, feeling real. like Perry exercised too much control over their careers, they fired her. Unfortunately, yeah. they didn't understand that when they fired her, the publishing and production deals they had signed with Perry were still intact, which meant wow. that Perry didn't have to do anything but would still make a profit from TLC's success. It should be noted That's that sad. when the girls were initially going over their contracts, they had used a lawyer that Perry had recommended, which many wow. would see as a conflict of interest. You see, it, don't see, um, don't ever um use the lawyer that um uh, that the company recommend. Go um, get get your own independent lawyer because um the lawyer uh because the lawyer they recommend uh they they're not doing it for your best interest. They're doing it for their best interest. You know, like for like for the lawyers and for the company best interest. So like and trust me, they um they'll find a way uh, to screw you out of your money even worse. So don't so don't ever um get the company lawyer. It wasn't bad enough that they were losing you know, money. You know, like of course, well, of course, you know, like these were young girls. You know, like they were in they were late teens, early twenties, I believe. So like so they were young. So they so they weren't like as educated um as they are now. So but um I did want I did want to let you guys know like um uh, like like that like that like they on top of things and don't ever um uh, don't ever hire anyone that that is within the company. Get your own independent um. Get your own independent lawyer, or even your own independent manager. TLC was about to be plastered all across America, and not for good reason. You see, shortly after releasing their first oh, album, yeah, I remember Left that. Eye began dating Falcons football player Andre Risen. While the Andre relationship Risen, he was a great at football first player, was lovey-dovey, it quickly became tough. He was a great football player, but I heard that like, he was actually kind of a dick. Now, now, that's not me saying that because I don't know the guy personally, but... Like, but that's why I heard, you know, hey, hey, you know, um, hey, you don't do what the left eye is supposed to do. Um, you weren't a dick, but I, I'll leave because that Because of to left eye's hot temper and Andre's possessive control. After multiple fights and left eye catching Andre cheating on her, Damn. the relationship escalated to physical violence. Damn. It all came down on June 9th of 1994 when left eye grabbed a bunch of Andre's new shoes and threw them in the tub with lighter fluid. As left eye watched the pairs of that. shoes burn, the bathtub caught on fire as well. And soon enough, it burned down Andre's right $2 million there. mansion. Left eye soon Wait, became I mean, the mansion? Soon enough, it burned down Andre's two million dollar mansion. Left eye. Shit, two million dollar mansion. Oh, like like that two million dollar mansion in Atlanta probably cost ten million dollars here in L.A. Probably even more. You know, L.A. is freaking ridiculous when it comes to real estate. But like, but hey, you know, like, but hey, you know, I don't, I don't want a ten million dollar mansion. I just want to get like to give me a cool apartment. See the place I live in now, like it's it's small space. It don't even come with the air conditioning. I live I live in the back house of my grandma, so like so like so I'm just so as of right now I'm just trying to make it, you know, like I'm trying I'm trying to make it, you know, make make it to the next level, and I will make it to the next level. But damn, ten million dollars and he she burnt up she burnt up his new kicks. God damn, that's a whole look. Like most most women, they just scratch up keys and everything. No, no, they keep cars, you know, like they break the mirrors and everything, but burn, burning down a house. I, I, I know it wasn't intentional, but still, damn. Became the subject of intense media coverage. It, it was, was painted out to be this crazy girlfriend, when in actuality they were both really toxic to each other. They Due were. To the house burning. They were. Left eye That's what to- happened. Like, like with this level of to- toxicity. To- I hope I pronounced that right. Uh, with this level of toxic um in a relationship. Sometimes it's just better. It's just better to just leave. Don't like. Don't like. Don't be going out and start fight fighting the motherfucker. You know, like and just be like ah or, or burn or burn or dole his clothes out or burn burn it too. Just leave. You know, 
You know, like, I know, I know that easier said than done, but trust me, you know, like, um, trust me, um, you'll feel a whole lot better just leaving, you know, just leaving. To jail for five days, spend three months in a rehabilitation center, and pay a ten thousand dollar fine. She has stated oh, that although she hated the rehabilitation center, it gave her time to understand the generational trauma within her family, and ultimately helped her. Well, in good. late 1993, TLC began working on their next project, Crazy Sexy Cool, a concept this, that Left Eye had actually come up with. Unfortunately, and and this, you know, like this, on this album, this is where they were, became more real. They still had the hip hop flavor. See, see, on the previous album, they were they were more of a kid. So like, so so obviously, you know, like they're going, they can make uh making music the way the kids were. But on this album, they're becoming more of a mature adults. And they would talk about real subjects, just like HIV, you know, like, and, you know, like, and Red Light Special, which I, which I like to call it porn group, in my opinion. The left eye was missing from a lot of the songs on the album because of her time in the rehabilitation center. Nonetheless, the group worked with collaborators Dallas Austin, Dallas Baby Austin, Face, and Puff Daddy. The album was Puff released oh, on November no. 15th of 1994 and was instantly a commercial success. Yeah. The controversy of the fire mixed with their new, sexier image shot TLC to the top of the charts and made this the first album by a girl group to go diamond status. So, wow. as you can imagine, it would shock oh, everyone diamond, to hear couple, that on uh, July 3rd million. of 1995, not even a year after the album's release, TLC had to file for Chapter 11 bankruptcy due to being $3.5 million in debt with Perry's management company and LaFace Records. Now, they, like, I know see, it's a, you know what the funny part about this is? They had the nerve to call, like, they were don't, like they were going through bankruptcy, but they had the nerve to, uh, to bash men, uh... For the for the, for the, uh, be on the passenger side of his best friend Rye, try to holler at me. Like, come on, yo. Like, you're broke too. He broke. You broke. Hey, like, hey, yo. Hey, let's let's all be broke together. Probably wondering, how did the biggest selling girl group making millions of dollars from albums go bankrupt? Well, here's the explanation from Left Eye herself. Okay, there are a hundred points on the album. TLC right. had seven. Every point is equal to eight cents. Damn. All right. So seven, seven times eight. Um. Uh, okay. Don't don't tell me. Okay. Um. So eight. So hold on. So sixty-four. Uh, fifty-six. So fifty-six cents. Damn. Times eight. Fifty-six cents. Yep. But as time went on, we learned a lot. That means every time an album gets sold, TLC gets fifty-six cents. That's right. So ten million records. Five point six million dollars. Yep. Seems like a lot of money. Well, it's not a lot of money when the record company has spent three million dollars to record your album. And in the record business, we pay all costs back to the record company. We pay recording costs, video costs. So now we have two point six million dollars left. Well, guess what? When you have that much money, you're in about the forty seven, forty eight point forty nine percent tax bracket. So that immediately gets deducted to $1.3 million. Damn. Then you split the rest three ways. You got about $300,000 a piece. Is that much? Okay? And that don't hold the lawyers. I can buy a nice house with that. Yeah. And what am I going to pay my bills with? What Left Eye didn't mention, though, was that the record label was also charging them for smaller expenses, yeah. like airline travel, hotel, yeah. food, clothing, but all of these add up. Plus, they, they had to pay for their own personal expenses, like t boss's hospital bills and Left Eye's insurance payments for the house that she had burnt down. After all of the costs were calculated, each member of TLC was actually only making $50,000, while the record label that's what, that's generated over 50, $107 million. This was an unfortunate reality for a lot of artists from yeah. the 90s. Yeah. First-time recording contracts were known to always be in favor of the record label. Yep. The main reason is because when you're a new artist, you don't have an audience yet, so the record label has to ensure they'll get their money back. The problem starts when record labels start to get greedy and take Take more than they're worth, yeah. leaving artists barely with any money. Nonetheless, TLC did everything in their power to fix their bankruptcy, but the record label wouldn't take accountability and only nope. pointed fingers at their distributors, Arista Records. 
Legend has it, TLC got so fed up that they devised a plan with some of Left Eye's friends from the rehab center to travel to Clive Davis's office and ask they, him they where their money was. In the movie. They I allegedly held Clive Davis hostage and ripped off any TLC plaques off his wall. After multiple years of battling the record company, they were finally able to renegotiate their contract and completely get rid of Perry. It seemed that yeah. after all their fighting, things started to look up for TLC. They were finally able to enjoy the success they so rightfully worked hard for. Yep. Unfortunately though, this would only be part one of the controversies that follow TLC. In part two of this series, we'll be talking about the chaos surrounding their third studio album, as well as the tragedy that left TLC forever broken. Yeah. Until next time on TLC, the complete series. Thank you guys so much for watching. All right, um, that was an awesome video. It just shows, like I said, it shows that um how how screw up the mu the music business is, you know, especially the record la label. They weren't the first, like you know, like it happened to NWA. It happened to the Beatles later on um, in their career after Brian Epstein died. It happened to the Rolling Stones. It happened to it happened to so many doo wop groups, like a black doo wop group in the fifties and the sixties. Like you know, like think like think of your favorite um, doo wop song. Going to the chapel and we gonna get married. Like, like they, they got, like they got those group and they got, they got how many of them were screwed, screwed out of the, um, of the record label. Even the freaking line, even freaking line, he got screwed, he got screwed out of the record label. You know, like with the, with his song, why do fools fall in love? So like, so like, like good thing, good thing nowadays, um, the music business, um. Uh, People are, are going more indie, you know, like they're selling their music through Bandcamp and iTunes, Spotify, and, the, and things of that nature, you know, like, uh, but, but, still, but still, though, like, this, this, this problem still exists, and that's why, you know, that's why, you know, the business, the music business, it's just not for everyone, and that's okay, because it's just, it's just a dirty business, as Puck Daddy himself. With that being said, thank you guys for watching, um, if you guys like what you watch, um, leave a like, uh, comment down below, and subscribe to your boy. Peace, love, and rock and roll.